Unreal Engine comes with a bunch of sample projects. Most of us will already know about this, but there's a new place for them to be stored. That might be new news to you in the samples holder. And we can see the game animation sample project, which is a lot of people's favorite. But also there's a bunch of other sample projects as well. Project Titan, that's about 100 gigabytes to download. That's a landscape sort of sample. Prop out for third person. There's a shooter one. There's like a strategy platformy type one. There didn't used to be a 2D side scroller full sample type project. With 5.6, we got the new templates, but in 5.6, there is a new sample project called Parrot Game Sample Project, and you can add it to your library and access it on Fab. It's just a super simple 2D side scroller that's been made for people to use and explore. And if we open it up, then we'll be able to play the game, but also explore the blueprints. And the blueprints are interesting. There's a bunch of behavior trees in there. There's a bunch of different enemies. There's a bunch of different character models to use as well. There's also main menu rebinding as well. So we'll take a look at all of that and see what we think. So this is the main menu you get started with. It's a sort of freely interactive main menu. So this shark swims around. It has its own uh, uh, animation blueprint it's got its own spline and it'll do the job so if we press play you'll see there's the shark swimming around We've got settings and play settings has a volume control and the key bindings change all our key bindings so if you're looking not as a template for a 2d a 2d or a 2.5d what's a 2.5d because 2d is like side scroller to me how can the 2.5d is like going out into the world but if you're looking for a idea on how to do key bindings on how to make a decent sort of main menu to look at then this is well worth checking out if we click play it goes into our first level as i say it's just a side scroller but we've got obstacles here we've got jump ability we've got niagara effects here's our enemy enemy users behavior tree we bop him on the head mario style and then we beat him this camera can't go backwards either. So our camera can only go forward. That was pretty lucky. We've got a time limit. So it'll show you how to set up a timer as well. And there's three levels in total. And there's lots of different enemies as well. So this is just like the first basic enemy. But hopefully if we make it to the second level, you'll see another enemy. And then on the third level, there's a boss enemy trying to do this and talk at the same time so here's our second level a little fire dude with a little axe i really like that effect and you can see a cannon here as well and we've got lots of different pickups this pickup increases speed and there's a respawn system set up as well just a super basic respawn system i thought i was going to hit him Try and get to the boss. So Niagara effects. There's projectile effects. There's ability speed ups. It uses interfaces. It uses event dispatches. But moving platforms in. So there's a whole host of stuff here that you can use to learn how to make your own video game in Unreal. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up that third level because I can't seem to get past that. And we'll go to level boss. And we'll click play on level boss. Here's our boss. Boss has a behavior tree, but it's also got a rage mode as well. So here's the boss. We can bop him on the head and then he activates his like little rage mode. You gotta jump over him or not, as the case may be. But if we check out some of these uh, blueprints, you can see that each of these has its own little area and its own little level. And then if we check out the content, we've got all our folders. So we've got blueprints, we've got one for the camera that we're using, we've got one for like, all the pickups. Our player has a setup as well. 
So there's a whole host of stuff here that is worth checking out. It's all nicely commented on what it's doing and more importantly, why it's doing it. So it seems like Epic is coming out of the woodwork with sort of sample projects intended to help us that aren't as complicated as say the game animation sample or Lyra. So we've got all of these here. Now you're still going to need to know what a validator get does and how that works as well. And all of this sort of why they're ticking and signing is basically to go up and down, but it's worth having a look into if you're looking at games. So this is a blueprint interface for animation to receive the ground distance. So what do you think? Is it of interest to you? Do you think it will help you in your game development journey? What's the, what's the verdict on the sample project for pirates, pirate sample project. It's only available in 5.6 and it's currently not yet in the samples, but you can get it on fab. It is on the front page now and you can just type it in as well it's also available for unity as well so there's a unity version as well <laughs> if you just scroll down you can get the unity version too and you can start learning some unity to use it in unity too so very useful and very good a good move in the right direction in my opinion